Ryan had this great idea. He thought, I'm going to give my brother Eric a Christmas gift that he is not going to like whatsoever. <laughs> and so he gave it to him. It's Robin Liz, his morning crew on his radio. It turned out to be, what was the thing called? It's these Lifesaver books that I, I think they're still around. You, Santa Santa's candy book, right? Right. And yeah. it's got like 10 packs of Lifesaver type candy inside of the it. The fruit ones. Yes. The fruity ones, yes, not, not the, the peppermint. Minty, yeah. yeah, the fruity ones. <laughs> so <laughs> Eric didn't like it, but you know what he did? He re-gifted it the next year. Back to his brother. Yeah. You know what his brother did? Re-gifted it to him back the year after that. Mm -hmm. You know what Eric did? What? You know. Yes, I do. He re-gifted it again, and this has happened for decades. The past 34 years. Yeah. 1987 <laughs> was that very first <laughs> time they ever exchanged it when they were just little kids. They're kids. And I can't believe they kept up with it. But they've gotten really creative as they've gotten older as well. So they brought, like, other people into it. Um, there was one year that one of them gave the gift at a restaurant, and they had the waitress bring it out on a silver platter. I love it. <laughs> so it's gotten better. Here is your gift. Exactly. That's awesome. And I love that they have done this. And the candy, oh, my goodness, do not even try to open that candy and eat it because it looks terrible. Oh, yeah. It looks absolutely absolutely terrible my dad painted a picture of a fox way back when it made the rounds with his seven brothers and sisters for decades really? i have no i love idea. that yeah i have no idea where it is now but i anyway, love that yeah i'm thinking if they try to eat the candy at some point oh pepto-bismol will be a part of their future <laughs>